Welcome to the Thursday, July 11th episode of Stacks on Deck. I'm your host, Walter, and this is Bray Burst DFS. It's one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. All right, so we have a seven game slate, but the thing to note is that kickoff is at 6.05 p.m., so don't get caught slipping. Make sure you check your lineups earlier than normal. All right, so we can pull up my checklist and I look at six things every day. We're going to talk about the previous day. We're going to talk about rainout concerns, then top stacks, top pitchers, top hitters, and then a DK stack build. All right, the bag in the overdraft. So I had a pretty good day yesterday. I had a mix of a Astro stack and a Ranger stack, but the nuts was definitely a Brewers and Astro stack. And then if you had Valdez, the Astros pitcher, you are feeling real, real good today. But the overdraft, the Pirates went out there and forgot how to hit and score zero runs. You also have the Rangers who scored only two runs. And then you had Stone for the Dodgers who only got 3.1 fantasy points. Rain out concerns. I love this graphic after having to worry about hurricane and cold fronts. There are no rain out concerns today. All right, so my top stacks. So when I'm making my top stacks, I'm looking at their matchup. I'm looking at how the teams have been hitting. I'm looking at how they distribute their lineup. I'm looking at how the makeup of their lineup. I'm looking at whether the players are going to get stolen bases because we know stolen bases lead to players in scoring position or deeper in the scoring position. And I'm also looking at salary because if you don't have any salary left to have the pitchers or the other one-off players in your lineup, that's really not going to help you. And we're looking at all that today. I have the Astros. That's the number one stack, followed by the Red Sox and then the Mariners, and then the Braves and the Yankees. So those top pitchers. So I have Castillo as my favorite pitcher today. Uh, the LA, um, <laughs> come on, LA Rams, <laughs> Los Angeles Angels have not been hitting well lately. Uh, Castillo, seven wins on the year, has pitched at least uh, five innings in all of his last five starts, and he's had at least 20 fantasy points in two out of his last five starts. But like I said, I really like the match up so steel so steel on paper does have a tough matchup but he's been playing really well lately he's pitched at least six innings in six straight starts including a complete game shutout in his last start and he's had at least 20 fantasy points in five out of his last six starts and then we have Cortez at 8,300 for the Yankees. He has a pretty good matchup. Uh, he's had at least six innings in four out of his last five starts, and he's had at least 20 fantasy points in three out of his last five starts. All right, top hitters, I apologize in advance, but I mean, the best hitters today you're going to have to pay for, starting with Turner at 6,345 on the year with eight home runs and 11 stolen bases, three home runs in his last five games, and three multi hit games in his last five games. And then you have Devers, 21 home runs on the year. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, multiple hit games and three out of his last five games and three home runs. In his last five games, then you have Will Smith at 5,815 home runs on the year, two multi hit games in his last five games and four home runs in his last five games. All right, so let's pull up the Astro stack. And once again, I'm making this around noontime. So check the lineups to make sure these players are playing. So in the outfield, you got the young gun, Loprofito, uh, at 2,800. If you want to get some salary savings, uh, he has a four game hitting streak, including a home run in his last game. We have Bregman, 11 home runs on the year and multiple hit games in three out of his last five games with two home runs. You have Altuve batting average up to 309, 13 home runs, 14 RBI. Guy has a hitting streak with two RBI in his past five games. A little bit of salary savings at first base with Singleton hits in four out of his last five games with a home run. And then you have Diaz at catcher with seven home runs on the year and multiple hits in three out of his last five games. So, let me know your thoughts. Feel free to leave any comments, but otherwise go out there and win that guap.